bootloaders. The thing that we all should be using, if you have multiple operating systems, having an awesome bootloader on startup like this, or this, or this, and there's some other ones, but I, I could literally just show bootloader images all day long because it's just so amazing. But loading some of these themes up eh, can be cumbersome, I'd say can just be a bit of a headache for most. And I've used like Grub Customizer and other things in past videos, but I didn't want to use that in this one. This one, I created my own project, something that anybody can use. I wanted the one click, easy install. You just select out of my top five themes that I see today. So what I did was I downloaded all the assets for these top five. I created my own install script. So then you can just click it and go. So with that, let's not waste any time and jump right into it. All right, on our desktop here, I have uh, this link, christitus.com forward slash bootloader dash themes. Now I created a GitHub with all these assets in here. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to update this should the assets change. So as you scroll down on each theme, I add the source to GNOME look. So you can easily go here, download it directly. And some of them have install scripts, some of them don't, some of them have to manually install. Uh, but I didn't want to do any of that. That's why I didn't just show how to link from the original source. I wanted to just make my own GitHub project with these five themes, which are CyberRE, Cyberpunk, Fallout, Vimix, and Shodan. I think these are just beautiful themes and something I wanted to just cover. So with this one click installation, we'll just come up here, go ahead and click copied to clipboard, just click that and then launch your terminal. And then just simply you can right click and paste or you can just middle click to paste it all in here at one go. What this does is it goes out and downloads all the assets for the theme and launches the script. It says, hey, which one do you want to install? And my favorite out of these is actually the first one, CyberRE. So I can just type number five and it'll go ahead and install that theme. So let's go ahead and see, it takes about a couple seconds. And then we just simply reboot our PC, should come back up, see CyberRE. And we're gonna go ahead and do this a couple times just to show you the different, how easy I made it to change the theming. Here comes our startup, we got our BIOS screen and there we go. We got Arch Linux and Windows. And we can actually customize these a little bit. If you don't, if you have a whole bunch of options, sometimes there's advanced options and recovery options. You can launch Grub Customizer and remove some of that, which I'll show. But let's go ahead and boot into Arch Linux real fast. I am using a custom kernel. You kind of saw it flash up just for gaming. But there we are. We'll log in. And let's go ahead and change this theme up again. We'll just go CD top five bootloaders. Look at that. We'll just do a sudo install.sh, type in our sudo password, and we're presented with this again. Now let's go ahead and change this to Shodan because this one actually from GNOME Look didn't have a very good installer script or it might not, no, it didn't even have an installer script. So this is one I just kind of created to go with it uh, because I thought, hey, this artwork is fantastic and I'd love to see that. With that, we'll reboot again. Here it comes. And boom, Shodan, there we go. Now let's change this from Windows Boot Manager to Windows 10 real fast, just to show you a slight modification, as I wanna make this as easy as possible. So we'll launch Grub Customizer. Every single operating system has this uh, on Linux. So whether you're Ubuntu, Arch, whatever it might be, everyone has Grub Customizer. And if you do have Grub Customizer, you can actually come in here, remove any entries that you don't like. If you don't like any of the advanced ones, go ahead and remove them. Another thing I like to do is uncheck generate recovery entries. I don't like that either. So I actually remove both those and we're actually going to edit this a little bit. We're going to change it from Windows Boot Manager and we're just going to call this Windows 10 and we'll hit the little checkbox and OK. And it kind of just changes that. We'll hit save. This should update the configuration and we should have a different look to it. So we'll quit this out. I just wanted to make sure on the bottom right, it gives you a progress bar. Make sure that finishes. And let's go ahead and change it one more time. We're gonna change our theme again. Back in our top five bootloader directory, we're just gonna do a sudo install one more time. Uh, now we have Cyberpunk, Fallout, CyberRE. Out of these, let's go ahead and switch it to Cyberpunk. Uh, or actually we'll go 
Vimex. Uh, it has a little more of a clean aesthetic, more neutral, minimal setup that a lot of people like. This is actually one of the best gnome look uh, bootloaders out there. I, by far the most popular, and I think the highest rated as well. And as you see, it, it's so clean, so stinking clean. That's why so many people love it. Um, but there we are. We saw the rename of the operating systems, and we also have a new theme. And just for completionist's sake, let's uh, check out some of those other themes real fast. We'll switch it over to Fallout now. And with Fallout in, let's reboot. And there's our Fallout theme, kind of like a retro, kind of neat, right? Now, the next one we'll try is the other one, and that makes the top five, which is Cyberpunk. Coming back into our directory one more time. And Cyberpunk is being installed. And we'll just go ahead and reboot this. Boom. <laughs> so those are my top five, but I have one more thing to leave you with that is just a lot of fun. And I think everyone should know this about Grub bootloaders. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you some of the setup. Coming back into here, just launch Grub Customizer one more time. Under General Settings, you will find some other stuff in here. If you want the actual boot entry to be longer, by all means do it. If you have any special entries that you wanna to add to this, by all means you can actually add them here. Uh, a lot of people like no mod set. If you're like an NVIDIA card user and you can't get your desktop to display, you might need to add this. But since I already have NVIDIA card drivers installed, I don't need to put no mode set in there. Uh, and appearance settings, this is one thing in Grub Customizer a lot of people try to do. I've never had this work right. If you ever need to do modified or actual custom changes to Grub, uh, we're gonna actually just go quit without saving. I like to come right into the terminal and whatever text editor you wanna use here, just do a sudo, etc default, and then you wanna do Grub. And we'll use Vim to open this guy up. Uh, you can use Nano, you can use Gedit if you want a more graphic editor, by all means, pick your poison. But you can see the command line to do no mode set would be right here. If you wanted to do it from like TTY, which doesn't have any graphics, I'll hit control alt F2, go right into TTY. No graphics. If you have just a black screen, try control alt and then F2 to get to this screen and you can launch right into here. Do all these edits from terminal without ever having a desktop, which is great. So if you ever run into problems, remember control alt F2 or F3 uh, to get into this control alt F7 will get you usually back on your desktop. And if you aren't seeing a grub and you're using grub, uh, come down into here under grub timeout style. Sometimes instead of menu, this is hidden. You would actually need to put menu here. And again, grub timeout at the top here, make sure this is set to five or above uh, because sometimes if you're using a TV, it might take more than five seconds. If this wasn't a traditional monitor, I usually always add another five seconds just for uh, the grub menu to pop up. As far as any of these other settings, to manually set the theme, how I did these scripts was just changing this one line at the bottom. This forces that theme in to where this would be my login and uh, it would change this specifically. So just to show that, we'll change it back to my favorite theme that's in the top five, which is that Cyber RE. And we'll just do number five, Cyber RE. And this just adds that into that file and changes that line. And we'll just showcase that real fast, come down to the end, and you can see it changed that one line, and that's just kind of what your grub should look like. This script will automatically update this for you and get everything. The only things that you really need to be wary of is if your grub timeout style says hidden instead of menu, and if your grub timeout says uh, something other than you know, five or let's say it's zero, you'd want to put it to five or maybe even 10 seconds, depending on how much you want to be there. Also, if you're having boot problems, take out quiet. This will actually just show more things that are happening on boot and you can troubleshoot your computer a little easier. And that's how you do a custom bootloader easily. Uh, tell me what, what you guys think and down in the comment section. Do you like these, how I did the scripting to make this a lot easier as I know some people had a lot of problems with bootloader themes and be sure and hit the like button as well. Subscribe, all that YouTube jazz so other people can watch this video if it helped you. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.